Welcome to Bigelow Woodcraft. I'm Jerry, and we have a project today. I have the stack of four by fours. You saw me mill these in maybe one of the other videos. We're gonna utilize these in a project that's gonna make coming out here to the wood yard much easier. It's gonna make cutting my firewood maybe much easier. And many of you have already done this, and let me show you why. I have all these really crooked limbs sticking out of them, odds and ends in a wood, pot, wood yard, and a lot of us have these. And we'll, we get in there and we're on our feet and climbing over everything, cutting them. So what I wanna create is I wanna create a way to cut these logs like these, these are big for my wood processor. Now that one on top would be a nice one actually, but like this one, all the rest of them, this one wouldn't be good for it. I want a way to process these logs without bending over and having to pick the logs up off the ground. <clears throat> so my solution to all this, many of you already built this. I've seen a few videos online, but the one I really gravitated towards was the one that saw in with Sandy built. He has this beautiful log table, 16 inch centers, with four by fours he built to, or used from the sawmill to keep the logs from falling through the, and hitting the ground. So I'm gonna build something very similar, but I'm not building at 16, I'm gonna build at 20, because we have that outdoor boiler. If we want 16, we'll just get certain kinds of wood and run it through the processor. But we're gonna go 20, and I also think this might be better for my slabs. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the processor is pretty good for the slabs. It makes it easy uh, to process them, but it's a little slower than I would like. So maybe this will help. So let's get this going.
We're back out here day two, guys. Hopefully, we're dodging raindrops today. Here's what we have so far. This is what we saw me building yesterday. And we had we had to take off. But like I mentioned at the intro, we're building a table, much like someone with Sandy's and several others have you built. And I think this is gonna just make it easier for those odds and ends and my slabs maybe. So I'm gonna finish this up and we'll go from there. My thoughts on this when I decided to build it was to build it with a footprint that would sit inside a truck bed in case I wanted to lend it to somebody or it's easy to pick up, I can get it with the fork. So it's four feet wide. It is 11 foot long on the tops of the beams. And it'll probably be nipped down just a little bit on that end once I get all the, everything worked out here. So I gotta finish this up. Let's uh, get a four by four. Sealed box and I pulled out a different screw. How the hell is that the case? This was a really fun build. And I think this is gonna add a lot of versatility to my wood yard. You know, now I have the wood processor right behind us and for the nice straight poles and for the odd poles, I have this log deck. I, I built it very similar to like Salon with Sandy and a few other guys have built it. I'm on 20 inch centers. And when I drew this on the computer on my little CAD system that I use, I, uh, I tried to get 16 inches and to see if they would work and see if I'd come up with a way to space these for, I couldn't, there's always gonna be one on top. So 16 would have been right in the center there. So, however, like I said, I can put a five foot log into mine and that's why I, only, I cut them at 20 inches. So it's 11 foot long and it's five foot wide. And the reason I went this width, well, total 66, uh, cause it overhangs a little bit. So yeah, it's 66 inches wide. And that allows, if I want two people, he could run his bar this way, I could run my bar that way, and we don't have to worry about bumping into each other. Or if I'm by myself, I could stick a couple more logs and use my pickaroon or, you know, to pull them towards me and roll them towards you. I got these stops in here, and the only place I have them opened up is on the cut spots. And all these pieces, I might put them in here for uh, sacrificial boards. So our chain doesn't come down and start smoking on this, or so our chain doesn't come down and start hitting the uh, four by four. Because we don't want to have to rebuild it in the next couple of years. My cousin, he'll run right through a saw horse with a skill saw and not even, all of a sudden they both collapse. And then, <laughs> so who knows what could happen with these. So I have a wood cutting party this weekend. We got it just done in time. So like I said, it's five foot across, little 66 inches little over five foot, allows two of us to cut at the same time. I also have a very similar to the height of my wood splitter. So if you're working by yourself, I'll have the wood splitter right here. And I can throw them in everything in the basket. I could also pick it up. I designed this so in between the legs is four foot. So that would sit inside a truck bed if somebody wanted to borrow it. I did throw some four by four or uh, 45s on there and I put some gusses or gussets around it just to stiffen it up. It's not budging. White oak six by sixes and the, everything else is maple. So let's go put this where it's gonna belong.
I think it held it really well. It's going to be plenty strong enough. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to do a little bit better job uh, taking these down, some of these limbs. But these were exactly that, limbs. And I'm still not doing it in the woods. Yeah, I think this is going to be nice. I think the cutting heights will be fine. Yeah. Hey guys, I think this is gonna be a nice addition. Ask me about my design. You know, like I said, it was 11 foot long by 66 inches wide. And I'm cutting on 20 inch centers. I used maple four by fours, white oak six by sixes, and just some scrap stuff I had for the bottom, some scrap stuff for these rollback blocks. I cut them open at the 20 inch marks. The first cut is there. At the end on each side, this is symmetrical. So I think it's gonna work out good. Be interesting to see how it does on slabs too. So. All right guys, take care. We'll see you out at the lumber yard next time.